Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get app-linked application to your Fire Stick as well as the best new codes to use inside that app. This way you'll be able to jailbreak your Fire Stick and get loads of applications which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get app links to your device. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. Then, as you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. Let's do it right now. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. And here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already developer, that's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, from here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open the downloader application, wait until it actually loads, then on the left side menu, it's really important that you have to click on Home. So once again, you have to click on Home and not on Browser. And then here in that search bar, we need to enter a link, which is going to be applinked.store. So let's enter it. Applinked. Dot. Store. So here is the link. You can see it on your screen right now, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work for you. Then we have to click on go and while the website loads, make sure to subscribe my channel so you could get even more content about Fire Sticks and click the like button below this video if you find it helpful. This way we'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now when the website has opened, we just have to click on that green download app link button, click on it and now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. And then you have to click on install and wait until app link is installed to your Fire Stick. 
Then, after the app wasn't loaded to your device, don't click on Open yet. Instead, press on Done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device. So click on Delete, and then Delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. Then scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll find App Linked, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, App Linked is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Then once again, we'll have to go to Settings, here they are, open them, to My Fire TV, again, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and now we turn that option on for App Linked as well. It's a must, because we'll be using App Linked to install other applications from the internet. So now, finally, we're free to use App Linked, just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. We open App Linked application. And here we just need to click on Add a Store button. So we click on it, and there we'll be entering our codes. So the first code is 675168052. So once again, the code is 675168052. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Then click on Next and click on the Add button. Click on it, and now the code is going to be saved. So we go to Save Stores, click on it, and just open that code. So we click on the Open button, and now a library full of apps has opened for us. I had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact applications available inside, but in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. So in this library, you'll mostly find movie-related applications, so there will be all kinds of movie apps, they are updated and should work on all devices. There are not too many apps, but still, they are of high quality and got loads of great content inside. So that was our first code of today for the movie lovers. And now let's go back so I could show you even more codes. So we have to click on the Add a Store button again, and we'll be entering our new code, which is 7, 1, 6, and 0. So it's 7, 1, 6, 0. We click on Next. Click on Add, and as previously, we have to go to Save Stores. Now click on it, and select the newly added code from the list. Then we'll click on Open, and the App Store has just opened. Once again, I had to blur out my screen. So this library will have movie applications, live TV apps, TV show applications, some utility applications, cleaner apps so you could maintain your fire stick. IPTV players, live TV players, alternative launchers, and even a couple of alternative app stores, so you could jailbreak your Fire Stick even further. So that's a pretty decent code, I hope you are going to like it, and now let's proceed with other codes of today. So click on Add a Store again, and the code is going to be 980606. So it's 980686. Click on Next, add the code go to Saved Stores, and select that code from the list. Then click on Open, and the App Store has opened. So this App Store has plenty of IPTV players, live TV player applications, movie apps, live TV, and TV series applications. All the apps in this App Store are updated and also should work fine on pretty much any Fire Stick or Android TV device. By the way, let me know in the comments which app from this App Store is your favorite. And now let me show you the last code of today. It's going to be 1985000. So once again, it's 1985000. Click on Next, add the store, and go to Save Stores and select it from the list. Open it. And here, first of all, you'll find quite a lot of live TV sports applications. Then also some movie apps, documentary applications live TV players, TV shows, web browsers, alternative app stores, even some adult applications, internet speed testers, and plenty of other utility applications. So this app store is also pretty decent. I hope you find those codes helpful. If you do, please hit the like button below this video, and see you next time. Bye-bye.